So I've made 13 videos so far about iconic moments in Project M history. They've focused on various combos, hype moments, and even entire sets. But today, I pretty much just want to talk about a pop-off. It is one week after Smash and Splash 2, and Hyperflame and Mr. Ellis are facing off for the third time in seven days. Hyperflame has already lost to Mr. Ellis in winners after getting 3-0'd by him in losers at Smash and Splash so dominantly that he tried Wolf on Game 3. In winners, he managed to take a game, but still was set to losers 2-1 and has had to make the losers run back to him in losers quarters. Unlike the losers top 8 set just a week before, this one is extremely competitive. The two players trade games and even stocks all the way through to game 5 when Mr. Ellis is the first one to reach last stock courtesy of an up smash by Hyperflame. And then, Hyper just goes in. He opens up Mr. Ellis with 4 dares in a row, tacking on 56% from a combo, and then coming back in with 2 more down airs into an up smash to finish the game. Hyperflame's reaction, and the crowds behind him, speaks for itself. This win isn't just a big upset for Hyperflame, it's not just important because of how badly he lost in this matchup not only this morning but also a week ago, and that's because Mr. Ellis is very much on the verge of making another monster losers run just like he did at Smash Splash 2. There, he went into losers early and tore through the best players in the world including Lunchables in two sets straight to win the tournament. Right now, winners finals is comprised of Thunder's Reign and Lunchables. Lunchables having beaten Mr. Ellis for the first time today, and Thunders having pulled his first win over Junebug in the other side of Winner's Semis. The winner of this set goes on to face Junebug in Loser's Semis, and the winner of that, whoever it would have been, would have had a heavily positive record on both Lunchables and Thunders, the two players currently still in Winners, and as a result would have had a pretty strong chance to win the tournament, despite not being in Winner's side of Grand Finals. What this all means is that when people say Hyperflame saved PM about this set, they put an end to the risk of Grand Finals not being comprised of the two people who had never won a major before, Thunder's Reign and Lunchables. It was already a huge set of upsets for those to be the two players facing off in winners' finals for the first time, but by making sure that Mr. Elf wouldn't be able to make a loser's run to Grand Finals, even though Hyperflame would go down to Junebug in a Game 5 set in loser's semis, he had done his job. He helped make sure that Grand Finals at Low Tier City 4 would be between two ascendant titans of the Project M community, not between the old school players who had dominated the game for over a year now. This set and the pop-off at the end are legendary because everyone knew the stakes behind it. Everyone, as soon as Mr. Ellis went to Losers, was worried about the potential of there being yet another Losers run similar to the one the week before. Another national won by a Game Watch. Instead, Hyperflame beat his second top 5 player in as many weeks, and secured his place in PM history. 